Good morning, modern steaders. I want to check on the meat birds first thing this morning. They spent their first night outside last night. What'd you guys think of the great outdoors, huh? They seem to enjoy it. Let's see if we need to move them to a fresh spot or not. It doesn't seem to have... Nah, their grass hasn't gotten eaten down that much yet, and... It's looking good, so I'll probably have to move them this afternoon. We just need to bring some feed and water up to them. The older the meat birds get, the more we'll have to move the tractors, but while they're still young, we'll only have to move them once a day, maybe once every other day for a little while. We'll just keep an eye and see how much they eat the grass. Let's see how the greenhouse is doing this morning. The tomato plants are starting to look nice. It's been, they've been in the ground for a few days now. They're looking really good. Pepper plants are looking good. The beets are too. Everything's starting to really perk up now. Our cucumbers are looking really nice. Yep. I mean, look at the zucchinis. They're going crazy. They're starting to get their true leaves in right now. The time's doing good. And then we got more zucchini. Different variety there. And then our summer squash. Man, everything's looking good. And then the sweet potatoes over here. They're starting to freshen up and looking good. So give those a few more days and those vines will really look nice. We need to do some more planting in the greenhouse, but first we need to get our pigs moved today. The pasture out here is finally dried up enough so we can move our pigs. I'm liking that the weather has changed and we can stop moving our animals out to pasture now. Put a vest on this morning thinking it was going to be chilly outside. Getting ready for our normal weather and it's not. It's supposed to be in the 80s today. Not normal for us, but we are enjoying it. Good morning. Good morning. You got your worm dewormer balls ready? Yep. Last, last day. I was gonna say last day. Woohoo! They'll be happy. For this week. The pigs are noisy this morning. You wanna tell everybody what you named her? Ivy. Ivy? Mm hmm The boys' names are not our decisions because they have a new home when they're eight weeks old. Right? They're going to go together. Yeah, you guys are going to go to one home together. So we're not going to name you. We're letting them name you, huh? Yeah. Ready for your medicine there, Ivy? You all right, baby? You all right? Oh, yummy. Oh, yummy. Yum, yum, yum. yum. Yeah. All right, for the two. You're all right. Yummy. Good job. Good job. Yummy. Oh, you want some attention, Ivy? Is that what you're saying? Saying pet me, huh? Keep jumping up on me. All right, come here, brother one. Oh, yeah, hey, good bullseye. Yeah. Someone's following you. Hi, baby. Figaro, good morning. Yeah, how would you open and close it? Ah, close it and you can let Buttercup out. You coming, Nora? She sees Figaro, it's her buddy. It's so funny, those two. I think I just got a goat turd in my boot. Don't ask me how that happened. Nora. Buttercup, you didn't waste no time getting out here. You want to smell alfalfa pellets, Nora? Okay. I have no idea how this happened. I'm keeping my toe up. But look at that. I got a goat turd in my boot. I don't know if a goat pooped in my boot as it was walking by or if somehow I flicked one up off the pasture. <laughs> ah, Olivia, I had a goat turd in my boot. You did? I did. Don't ask me how it got in there. They said, we want to know where our mom is. Yep, somebody pushed on the door. Mama's out getting some fresh grass. 
She's making some delicious milk for you. And then Figaro's out in the pasture keeping an eye on the goats. Look at all that milk. Curious to see how Rusty did with all the ladies last night. I wonder if they're all on this side or where they're hiding. Oh, come on in Rusty. Most of the chicks slept over there for the night. <laughs> the black cop Morans are up on the roosting poles. Buddy, you keep it up, mister, and you're gonna have to go in the crock pot. This is your last opportunity. Sheesh. You girls gonna go over there and get some food? So I've been trying to do all different things to see if we can make Rusty into a friendly rooster. It's been quite a few months and nothing's worked. So if you have any more tips, leave them in the comments down below. Because if he keeps acting like that, we can't have a mean rooster on the homestead. And he's... You girls hungry this morning or what? Holy moly, you're noisy. I gotta feed you inside the pasture pig mobile because we gotta move you today. And I gotta shut you up in here while we move you. been keeping Rusty around because we wanted to keep him as a breeding rooster but we can't seem to get him to break his mean streak. I don't know what it is. Some roosters sometimes just are mean and we don't want that on the homestead. I don't want to get attacked. I don't want Gina or Olivia getting attacked or anybody coming over getting attacked. So you can't have that on a homestead. So we're gonna leave the pigs in their pasture pig mobile for a little while while we get set up. We can move them and then we'll let them out. They get their feed and they have a watering nipple inside the pasture pig mobile also. You got them all confused. Don't use that blossom. You ready to feed your babies now there, Buttercup? You got all your fresh grass you needed. Go ahead, Buttercup. Good mama. There you go. Good mama. Let your babies drink too. You gotta wait your turn there, brother number two. I'm gonna try keeping one of our vittle vaults up here this year with chicken feed in it. So we only have to haul feed up here a couple of times a week and if this doesn't work we'll get a bigger barrel to stick up here. One of the nice things about the Vito Vault is they got an o-ring in the screw cap so you don't got to worry about weather getting in there or bugs. And this one will hold 65 pounds so it holds more than a bag of grain which is perfect. These turkeys love to perch on that little corner brace. It's where they sleep at night too. There you go. There's the rest of your dinner.
I noticed last night that this water had a crack in it and it was dripping. So I'm gonna make a repair to it today. Build a new one, I should say. I've been using this for two years, so I guess I can't complain. One of the things I love about homesteading is there's always something different to do. It's never the same, it's always changing. There's a lot of the same, but there's always new projects to get done at the same time, which keeps it interesting. You need a 3 drill bit. Boom. They got a cone shape on them, they got threads on them, so. I'm gonna go a little bit higher so when the birds get bigger and the turkeys, they don't have to scrouch down as far. So let's go. Three. Not sponsored by Tractor Supply. But they have a good supply of BPA free food grade buckets for a decent price. They have different colors, so we like using the white ones for food. So whether it's for water. It always amazes me how fast they can learn how to use that style waterer. It doesn't take them long and they figure it out. And it's nice. It holds a lot of water and it keeps it clean. They can't poo in it. You know chickens, they just have to poo in everything. We need to move the pigs and we need this right here. we can get the pigs out of their temporary area and get them into a bigger pasture area. So we gotta take down our fence. First, we should unplug our battery so we don't get Yeah, let's do that. That would not I will fun. not be helping anymore if I get electrocuted. You wouldn't want to get electrocuted? No. Little zippity zap. No. Oh, there you go, it just pop right off like that. Yep. All right, so this fence we just gotta take down. Look at that little bugger, a tick. Oh, do you feel it crawling on I can there? feel it on my leg, yep. Just right now. Just right now. <laughs> Darn ticks. This move will take us the longest because when we're moving them from our semi-permanent structure because we train them in here to electric fence. So now we're just gonna take this all down gonna be a warm one can feel it already I'm liking it we normally don't get this warm this early in the year it's a treat for us Try not to get too excited. I know all right I like to put in a T post on the corners we can give them a bigger pasture this year than we did last year in a one try I'm gonna see how that works for them. So we're gonna go down here. There we go. And on this, we're using fiberglass posts with insulators on them. Rock. Booyah, T-post driver. Man, one of the best inventions made.
almost ready for you to come out, pigs. We just gotta get the fence installed. I think somebody's laying an egg. I think so. We like using two strands of electrical fence to keep our pigs in and find it works really well. We set the first wire around ankle height and the second wire at knee height. Tie it off. Now I want to find a solar panel for charging this battery. I have another energizer coming with a solar panel. And I want to see how that works. And if it works good, we'll get one of those solar panels for this setup. And then we'll have them so they're always charging. And I take my wire from my energizer, wrap it around my fence a few times. What I should do is I should get an extra alligator clip. and then clip it to the fence. And then I get a piece of wood, board. I have one over here and I set this on the board. And the pigs will come in here. We had a brush fire before and some charcoal. The pigs will come in here and they'll eat the charcoal. And the charcoal is really good for them. And actually it's a natural dewormer. So that'll be good too. The nice thing about doing a small area like this for the pigs, once they're done and they got it cleaned up in here, we can come behind with our York rake, rake it and then reseed it because this is all land that we weren't able to get raked and seeded the year we had it logged because we got so much rain that year it's not even funny i was about ready to cry how much rain we got so now we're going to have the pigs help us build the pasture let's get this battery hooked up I'll test it to see how strong it is and then we'll get the pigs out. We didn't lose any. Yet. No. I meant from the move. Yeah, I hear it popping. Me too. Let's check, see it. 8,000. What do we go over here? 2,500. Why would that be? That's enough to get the pigs to stay in. So we'll get the pigs out and then we'll fix the ground after. I learned my lesson last year to put a couple of screws in it because the time I didn't, or the one time we learned the lesson, it opened on us. In the middle of transport. You should link that video. I should. I'll put a link to that video right here. Hey, piggies. What do you ladies think? Look at that nice and shaded spot. You got plenty of room now. Fresh grass. You coming out? There you go. Look at that. She's like, ooh, fresh grass. Nice. Good cakes. Come on, Patty. That might help getting that in the ground. Yeah, four thousand. Four thousand. All right. 4,000. It's kind of funny how the pigs know the pasture pig mobile is home, so they're not straying too far from it right now. They come out, eat a little bit, and they run right back in. You girls enjoying it inside the pasture pig mobile? Yeah. It's nice and cool in there, isn't it? It's cool in the shade right here, girls. You love your house, don't you? You got plenty of grass to eat. Should last you a while. 
Gina's excited from the cleanup around this rock. She can't wait to see what it looks like. We've been bringing in compost and wood chips in this area for the pigs. So now we're gonna back drag it, smooth it out a bit, and then we're gonna cover it up so we can use it for a garden spot after. Covering this area with silage tops. We gotta to cover it for a week or two so we can kill all the weed seeds, kill all the bugs. I wanna plant pumpkins and squash here, and Gina wants to plant sweet corn, so maybe we'll end up doing both. Yeah. In a couple of weeks, this is gonna make a nice garden spot. You I'm excited? Eat it though. I'm put in yeah, and the squash will just take over, yeah. and pumpkins, and yeah, this uh, should kill all the weed seeds that are there. Check about corn. Corn. Gina thinks we have enough onions. I think we need to companion plant them in between our tomato plants to help keep bugs away. And you can never have too many onions, right? Right? I mean, come on, can you have too much food nowadays? I don't think so. So we're gonna put some Walla Walla onions in between our tomatoes. Got our onion plants in, we had some leftovers, so I put, so I planted them up into some soil blocks. And look at those roots. Yeah, baby. Oh, it's gonna be delicious. We're gonna load it up with compost. Get these planted in here. So the smell of the onions is supposed to help deter bugs off the tomato plants. Can never have enough of that. With all of this heavy planting of plants in here, we have to do a lot of top dressing with compost. We'll do that once after we get everything planted. The way I look at it is in the greenhouse is premium growing space. We want to get as much growing in here as possible. So we're keeping our walkways a little on the narrow side. And companion planting as much as we can. Oh, I can't wait to have some fresh onions on a burger. Oh, can't wait to have some BLTs. With these tomatoes. Hopefully, we still have some bacon left and the tomatoes are ready. Oh, we'll have bacon. It just might not be from our pigs. That was like 40 more onion plants. Perfect. We got some more pellets for our grill, so we're going to have some pork chops on the grill and I'm going to do baked potato and sweet potato in cast iron pot on the grill. I'm going to try that out. Also, I really would like to get more into using cast iron, so I think I'm going to order myself a skillet um, with two handles and try that out and start using that. Even gold won't turn your tide. We flow together like an ocean. Every low and every high. And I would have you any way, dear Any way your heart could bear Even if you had to leave me I'd always be waiting here Even when we are apart I will keep you in my heart And I wouldn't change a thing I did get this idea for this recipe and using the cast iron pot um, from Camp Chef's website. We'll link that in the description below. I've never known a brighter sunset. Salt and pepper. Every day I see a little bit of thyme. A little bit of 
bit of sage. Even when we are apart, I will keep you in my heart. I will hold the world at bay just to see you smile. Good day to cook on the grill. Let's see. They're sizzling away. Those would be good left over with breakfast in the morning too. Begins to fade. I will love you just the same. And I wouldn't change a thing. Even if I were the king. So I do the second edit to my video the next morning after filming and I'm sitting at my desk here it is just a little after 6 a.m. finishing up the edit and I'm staring out my window and I get to stare at the pasture pig mobile and all the goat stuff and yesterday it was 93 degrees for a high which is crazy for us but the pigs were hot so they stayed inside most of the day yesterday but this morning here it is 62 degrees out and I get to watch the pigs run around and frolic on that big pasture area that me and Gina made for him yesterday. Man, watching pigs run on grass is just so much fun. It's something that you don't get to see very often and not very many pigs get to do it. I think they all should. It's fun to watch. They're a great animal, fun livestock. And man, it just makes the food taste so much better. It's so much healthier for us. In the long run, this is why we do what we do. We wanna be able to eat food that is good for us and makes us feel just good. So thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey with us guys. If you have a chance to raise pigs on pasture, I highly recommend it. So thanks for watching. I'm going to get some footage of this for you at some point and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.